Hey guys, welcome back. Um, ooh, I'm a little nervous for this month because I got a lot of books to talk about and uh, I'm kind of scared and a little intimidated by these books, but I, I feel good, I feel good. So today I am doing my November TBR and it's already November, excuse me. Um, but in my bullet journal, I actually made a spread. This has actually changed since I made my spread because I made my spread a few days before the month started. So I got a little changes, but for the most part, this is right. Let's just jump into it. So the first book I would like to read this month is called The Shortest Distance Between Love and Hate by Sandy, Sandy Hall. And this book, um, I actually already started. I'm about halfway done. So, and I'm enjoying it so far, I think. Um, I haven't read it in a few days. Today is the 4th, and I started this sometime last week. Um, I don't know, I was really, really enjoying it, and then I stopped reading it over the weekend. And, um, I don't know. It just seems, it seems very, very mediocre. Is that a bad thing to say? I don't know. But this book is about this girl named Paisley and this guy named Carter. And they are both freshmen in college. And they really, really like each other. And, like, they, like, they have a good bond. But it turns out, in middle school, Carter used to bully um, Paisley's BFF. And she's still not over it. And he actually lied to her. And so that's making it worse. Um, so she's having a hard time forgiving him. But... The way that they're slowly starting to build the bond back is actually really cute. Um, just a nice, you know, cute contemporary romance. The next book I actually already started is called Anya's Ghost. Um, this is a graphic novel. The pictures in this book is like so good. It has like a purple scheme and it's just all around really good. Um, this book is about a girl named Anya, and she befriends a ghost, and that's pretty much all I know. Um, it's pretty good so far. It's pretty entertaining. The ghost, I feel like, can be problematic, but for right now, it's not. She fell down this well and met this ghost that died 90 years ago, and it's this little girl, and um, she kind of accidentally takes her home, and yeah. That's all I know right now, but I'm really enjoying it, and um, I should be able to finish this really fast. Another graphic novel I really want to read is the um, third book in my Mickey Falls series. I would really love to get to that, but that's not super high on my priority list because I have a lot of books. The next book I would really, really like to get to is Twilight by Stephanie Myers. This book is massive. And might take me a minute to read um, but this book just I talked about it in some of my other videos but this book just honestly it reminds me of this time of the year because the Twilight movies would always come around come out around Thanksgiving and after every single Thanksgiving dinner we would go and watch the new Twilight and so it was kind of a tradition and so now it just feels like the perfect time to read this book for the first time and um, I'm super excited. Ooh, I can't wait to get into this world again because I loved it and um, yes. Okay, so I just came back from the library. I had an email that one of the books that I had on hold was ready to, pick, to be picked up. And so I went to go where they have all the books on hold and I went to go look for my name. I should probably take my name out. Um, and I saw the book and I didn't realize how massive it was. I'm actually so scared to read it. But it's um, The Diviners by Libba Bray. Um, I really, really wanted to read this book because it just seems like such a good book. And then Emma Books is actually hosting a, a readathon. No, a read, I don't know. She's hosting something where you read each one of the books in the series every month, starting in November, I think and it leads up into the new release in February. And I thought that was such a good idea. But now that I'm looking at this, I'm actually scared. Like this book is 578 pages. That is a lot of pages. Um, but luckily the font isn't too bad. So 
Um, and I actually looked at the wait list on the um, audiobook for this book on Overdrive, and it's about eight weeks. So it's not like I can um, listen to it this month. Um, so this is going to be a rough read, but I'm really excited. I kind of preview read it last night, and it seems really spooky, and I'm really excited. Ooh! And then the final book I would want to read, if I have time to get to, this is very low on my priority list. This is if I manage to have some time. Um, I would like to read What If It's Us by Adam Silvera and, and Becky Alder Tolly. Probably said that wrong, but yes, I know that is a male male romance. Don't really know what it's about. That's all I know. Um, but that's very low on my priority list. I would love to get to these, what is it, five books? These five massive books. Um, by the end of the month, I'm actually off of school tomorrow, so hopefully I can do a whole bunch of reading. And then I'm also off of school next Monday, and then it's Thanksgiving break. So hopefully I can have time to do this, but it's also the holidays, and I don't know. I don't know. And then my classes are hard, and I'm stressing out, but it's fine. Like, we're chilling. We're doing us, you know? Um, but yeah, that's all that I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll... <laughs> I might see you guys next time if I'm not drowning in books. Um, love you, and I'll see you later.